is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 supernatural let's play so yeah i'm zoomed right up in on sybil's face but it was kind of creeping me out she was up super early this morning and she started practicing her magic and i noticed that her face is were super creepy her eyes are rolling in the back of her head and honestly it just looks really demonic looking like she looks like she's possessed or something i'm not really sure how i feel about it <laughs> quite honestly it's just it's kind of creepy honestly but you know what i'm gonna let her do her thing she's gonna practice her magic um it's really cute because she woke up this morning and she's scared it says scaredy cats are scared of pretty much everything but they really show it when they're life flashes before their eyes and it was from seeing bone hilda now in the last part i did realize that i kind of skipped around um when i was editing because it was a super long part so i had to edit some stuff out so i didn't edit the part where asher purchased bone hilda and i just kind of fast forwarded to you know bone hilda, bone hilda just like walking around y'all probably like what who who what where huh well he decided he wanted to purchase a bone hilda i think rowan had the one at one point to purchase one um i thought it'd be like perfect because they do live in this big house and you know i think it'd be beneficial to have you know a creepy skeleton made since this is our fall halloween time lp just to have around the house to clean up after us, which has proven me right because she is on point. She is right behind me picking up after my messes, and I love it. But she's super cute, and I just thought it was really funny that Sybil was scared of her, and she does want to have a friendly introduction to her. So we're going to introduce ourselves to Bone Hilda. Um, looks like Iridessa is a little bit hungry, but she's going downstairs first things first to hold Asher's hands, which is so sweet. And Sybil did make some breakfast this morning for everybody. I think Bone Hilda actually went ahead and put it in the refrigerator. So they'll have to go do that when they get hungry. But, okay, my plans for today, oh, I love how she flies, it's so cute. My plans for today are just to kind of like hang around the house with Rowan and Sybil. And then later tonight, Sybil also had the want to visit the graveyard, which I thought would be really cool to do considering you know, like this is supernatural and all spooky so i think her and rowan should probably spend a little bit of time together since we have been focusing a little bit on asher and iridessa the past part i think they're so cute let's give her a little dip kiss they are smitten with each other and in the last part i did say i thought it was kind of an unlikely romance but a lot of you informed me that actually it's a thing fairies and vampires it's, it's a thing it's not so crazy but yeah that just that just proves my point that they're just meant to be uh what are these two doing she's going to chat with someone what are you doing rowan i think it's time for you to pay the bills and then i think we need to come down here and get these leftovers out um apple pancakes i think iridessa's a little bit hungry too let's go ahead and eat some pancakes um yeah and bone hilda she's a sweet she's a sweetheart she's a little bit creepy you know but she's nice she's she cleans up after us i wonder if like we can have her cook for us apparently can we not talk to her how are we supposed to introduce ourselves if we don't even have the option hmm I don't know that's interesting but we can like dismiss her and she'll go back into her little coffin but since we're up and about i guess we'll let her do her thing today like i mentioned in the last part i did have rowan i believe and sybil create dating profiles online so since she is right here let's check and see if we have any messages from anybody i think that they would be really cute together but I'm not really sure if they are vibing with each other. I'm not even sure if they're really compatible. But they may just be friends. We'll have to play around and see. Um, Dante, apparently, I think oh, we had sent him a message. Because he, he definitely looks like a vampire. But he was really cute. And it says, maybe you'd have better luck with someone else. Sorry, Sybil. Well, screw you too. Dwayne, seeing your profile makes me think that maybe this wasn't so crazy to try. Friends. 
Sure, let's accept that request. Chester, I like your profile. We should hang out. Sure, why not? Hi there, Sybil. You should call me sometime. Branch, sure, why not? According to this fortune cookie, today is a good day to reach out to you, want to be friends. So she just went ahead and accepted all those messages. You know, if there's not potential romance there, she can make some friends, which is basically her goal. So let's have her, you know, move on out of the way and come use the restroom. And then once he, what's he doing? threaten to exploit weakness okay for some reason these two have not been getting along can we not do that she's like hey no back off you're not gonna go down there and exploit my man you hear <laughs> anyways we're gonna have him no we're not gonna listen to anything she has to say you're gonna come down here and check his messages and see if he has any ladies interested in him because if they're not i know somebody who is and it is me me right here <laughs> Alright, so Rowan only has two messages, shockingly. Navita, you sound like a lot of fun. I'm glad I took a chance on this. Okay, she looks like she could be her mom. I'm gonna have to, nah. Doreen likes what she sees. Wanna get to know Doreen? No, she looks like a grandma. Rowan, you know what? We're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure something else out, okay? Um, maybe, oh wait, look, also y'all, he wants to fight a vampire okay maybe i okay well obviously this is like textbook supernatural vampires and werewolves obviously don't get along very well but i want these two to be friends i do i mean they're gonna live together i don't want there to be like any tension um uh, but rowan for some reason has been like kind of like bowing up to him and like trying to threaten him to you know and whatnot which i don't understand why look at bone hill the girl is on her A game, like, come over here and we're gonna have a quick drink and can, can we thank her? We can't even properly thank her. I mean, I don't know, maybe we should dismiss her and just say, hey, you've been working really hard, why don't you just take a break and maybe we'll have the option to introduce ourselves to her later. I like, I wanna be able to be friends with her, you know? So I wanna see if these two are even compatible, so can we like flirt with her or something and um, see what her sign is maybe? Um, so we can see if they're compatible. Oh, she's definitely liking it. Apparently I already have talk about feelings. Okay, um, apparently I did. She is a Virgo. I don't know if they're compatible or not. I don't remember. But I'm going to keep having them be flirty, compliment her appearance, and tell her she looks absolutely beautiful tonight. And she's like, oh, thank you. Um, you know, actually, I'm just meaning to ask you. I have this crazy idea of going to the graveyard tonight. Would you like to go? And he's like, yeah, you know, I've been wanting to transform into my wolf, my werewolf self. So it sounds like the perfect place. We'll do it. So they have a date tonight, you know, friend date, possibly more. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to get out and meet some more people, though. Uh, I hate the <laughs> anybody else hate the freaking creepy ice cream truck that lingers around. Me too. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, he wants to go on a date with her. He actually does. Okay, we're going to save that. He wants to meet someone online. And he wants to skinny dip with her? Okay, you know what? We're just going to save that too. Okay. And I did say I want to give them jobs. But right now, I just kind of want to play around and experience Supernatural. So, I might do that later. But right now, I'm not studying it. So, let's see. What can we do today? Um, and where even is the graveyard? Because we will be going there tonight. Here it is. Let's like zoom in here and see how creepy it looks. Oh yeah. This is super creepy. I wonder if there will be anybody else here when they come. Hmm, I don't know, but let's see. I do, like I said, wow. This house is freaking huge. Does anybody live here? Like, yes, the Von Gold. I bet that's a vampire family with a bunch of money. Wow. Um, I do want to meet some people, though, so I'm trying to see you know where we can go in town to possibly meet some people um and possibly maybe we could go to the gym or something uh land grab sell and swap uh alistair's elixirs and sundries we had tried to do that already um i don't see like a pool area there's a little fairy place 
Yeah. Oh, well, here. Yeah, there is an indoor pool. But I don't know. I don't think that we would do that. Gypsy wagon. What is the gypsy wagon? Oh, we can have our fortune told. We can do stuff like that. Yeah, let's have... That's what we're going to do for now because I haven't experienced this. So why not? Let's have him go here with Sybil. And let's have their fortune told. And then later, once it starts getting dark, we can go to the graveyard and see what trouble we can get into there. Under the fortune teller's instruction, Rowan Wolf details every dream he can remember from the last few weeks. The fortune teller sits, eyes closed, and hands folded, absorbing every last detail. Should she perf wait, huh? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't read. Should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now? Let's donate $8. Sybil Ravenwood tries to relax as the fortune teller holds her hand firmly in place, palm up. With one finger, the fortune teller begins to trace the lines in her skin, gathering information about her temperament, longevity, and romantic inclinations. Should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now? We're just going to donate the money since apparently they just want more money so we can get a little bit of an answer here. It says Sybil Ravenwood and the fortune teller tried to contact the spirits from beyond for advice, but were, they were out at the moment. Sybil, Sybil Ravenwood had to leave a message. Cute. This fortune teller keeps glancing at notes scribbled onto her hand. Rowan Wolf has heard of palm reading, but this is ridiculous. Okay, so apparently they just like gypped us for, you know, our extra donations and money because they didn't tell us a flying squat. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe maybe we're not done. One by one, the fortune teller carefully turns each card in the formation to reveal its image. Every flip of the card adds to the future tale of Rowan Wolf. Should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now? Oh, we're just going to leave. Let's, can we get our prediction? So, remember to avoid all penguins and you should do okay. The fortune teller reminds Roman Wolf. Rowan Wolf. Okay, you know, whatever. Weird. I mean, he could have, you know, he was kind of overdone when he saw the scribbling on the back of her hand. Star charts are spread over the table. The fortune teller's eyes hop from chart to chart as they mutter and scribble notes. Using a wax pencil, the fortune teller draws connecting lines between various heavenly bodies. It all looks very complicated. Should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now? We're going to donate $15. I feel like Sybil would be very interested to see, you know, what the outcome is, whereas Rowan just kind of like, screw it, this is a this is bull crap, you know, I don't believe this stuff. Even though he's a werewolf, you know, why would he believe it, you know? For it is written in the stars, cries the fortune teller ominously, adding a cheerful thank you, come again. Okay, yeah, that was that was great. He's going to come over here and be like, I mean, just kind of laugh at her and be like, you wasted so much money. I tried to tell you that they don't know what they're talking about, you know. Being a witch, you have more insight on the future probably than them. Oh, who is this? Remy, Remy DuPont. He is a Taurus. Oh, well, he's cute. Um, but he's a Taurus, so, <laughs> I mean, I want to meet some locals. Who is this over here? Oh, he's definitely a Taurus, too. Oh, he's like, what are you doing? Who are you singing to? Is anybody else confused? Okay, just me? Okay. Whatever. Alright, guys. Oh, my God, she wants to kiss Rowan. Oh! <gasps> Okay, so apparently I was right. There is something going on between these two. Let's see. She's feeling shy. Um, she's feeling slightly unlucky. And so she's feeling, I guess, a little bit unlucky. Is he... What is he doing? Is he arguing with her? He's a little bit hot-headed. I don't know what his problem is. But anyways, um, she does have him, you know, a little wound up considering he was just sitting outside waiting. What is... What was that? It was cute. But anyways, yeah, he's sitting there waiting, contemplating the meaning of life. He's soaking wet. He's a little bit over it. I hope it starts raining. I guess I'm going to have them go back home for a little bit. What is she doing? Oh, I think she just might have given him, like, a good luck charm or something. But I'm going to have them both go back home. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, it stops raining because I do not want them to be soaked you know, while they're hanging out at the graveyard, that'd just be a little bit ridiculous. So, yeah, we're going to, fingers crossed, it stops raining, and then we're going to go 
to the graveyard on a date, which is, I mean, super romantic, right? <gasps> okay, so the foreboding full moon begins its mystical ascent into the night sky. So this is perfect. That it's a full moon the night that they decide they want to go to the graveyard. It is still raining, but you know what? Whatever. We're probably still going to go out. Looks like he is, he's transforming into his werewolf form because it is a full moon. Oh, okay. He's like super unattractive. <laughs> uh, I think he's feeling nauseous because, uh, oh. Because they ate some super nasty hot dogs. But anyways, I think it's about time... Um, I was trying to give him a little bit of a nap, but what is she doing? I mean, she's just puking her guts up. That's fine. Let's have her take a quick shower real quick, and then I guess we're going to go ahead and head over to... Hold up. A deer? Wait, 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 wait. Can we do something with this deer? Watched... Oh, I was like, can he feed on the deer? Or... Can Asher, does anybody remember, like, the Vampire Diaries? They would, like, feed on the deer, which is awful, I know, sorry. I was just curious, but apparently not. It's just lingering around. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go to the graveyard in just a second. I hope it stops raining. If not, you know, we're just gonna have to make do with the rain and just enjoy the full moon and get soaking wet. Why not? <gasps> oh my god, there's ghost. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that creepy music, but I was like, what is that? It looks like we have Victor Charleston. Oh, Chesterton. I can't read. But anyways, we're just not going to let that ruin, you know, <laughs> ruin their night here. But he is having a feral change. Rawr or something. Or sometimes. I'm sorry. I can't read. It just can't be helped. The wolf has to come out. Okay, well, yeah, we're just going to have them pursue a first kiss with each other. I mean, romance is in the air in this little pee. I'm just, let me just tell you. We're going to romantically, you know, compliment his appearance again, I guess. Just kind of continue to flirt him up. We could do um, a heat of the moment kiss, but I, I don't want him to reject it, honestly. So, how is he feeling? Does he have any whims for her uh, besides going on a date with her? Maybe he can be the one that does the... Uh, romantic first kiss. Oh my god, she rejected him. She's like, oh, your, your whiskers are a little sharp tonight, babe. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That's embarrassing. I mean, I definitely had plans <laughs> for these two to get a little frisky in the graveyard, but maybe we could talk about our feelings a little bit because she's making us feel really insecure we can't help it we just we are who we are and uh you know maybe he sees oh, i don't know he i was gonna say maybe she could like change him into like a human form because we kind of got the hint in the last part that that's something that asher is interested in you know turning back human so i don't know He's, like, trying to give her a background, and she's like, babe, your freaking claws are out. Are you serious right now? All right, let's just give it up. His social was low, but we just fixed that. Um, I guess, and she was the one that wanted to come to the graveyard. She's wanting to go home now, yeah. She's such a little chicken. She's so full of crap. Um, maybe, can we come, ooh, can we come, like, cast spells on ghosts? Can, ooh, yes, let's do it. They're already dead, so we can't mess up, you know, their lives too bad, you know what I'm saying? So let's try, wait, what? Why? Cast spell, ice blast. Okay, let's try this again. <gasps> oh, I feel kind of bad now, but you know, like I said, she's already dead, so I see why she wanted to come to the graveyard because she can cast her spells knowing that she can't hurt nobody. They're already dead. Um, what is he doing? <laughs> Alright, let's see what this fire blast looks like. Looks like she's a little bit scared to do the fire blast. Why is that? Oh, 
Oh, it looks like it didn't work. But he's like, yeah, you go, girl. But I th I'm pretty sure that puddle will leak and she will eventually, like, come out of her little ice sculpture that she's in here. Um, let's try one more time to cast the fire blast maybe on this ghost right here. Just because, you know, why not just see what it looks like. She's thinking about Bone Hilda. Girl, you ain't casting no spells on Bone Hilda. We like Bone Hilda. Don't even think about it. Ooh. Yeah, see, she can't really do much damage to them because they're already dead. All right, so anyways, I think we're just going to go ahead and go back home now because they're getting really tired. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. <gasps> oh, my God. Hold the... F hold up. It's a freaking zombie. Oh, my God. I didn't... I, what? Zombies? Y'all, somebody help me. I've, I don't... What? I didn't even know they were zombies. That's how new I am at this. Can we cast a... Can we... Oh my god, if they attack us, we can turn into an, a, a zombie, right? <gasps> that is so creepy. Conjure apple. Oh my god, there's just like creepy stuff happening. Go home, yes. Because I'm not trying to get attacked by a zombie. But dude... Uh, Dude, uh, <laughs> honestly, that is, I love it. I love it. It's so creepy. You know, it's like, kind of like this is something that I really wouldn't like play in my typical personal gameplay. I wouldn't fool around with like the magic stuff just because I'm not like personally into it. I'm more into like the storyline family aspect of The Sims. But, you know, that's why I wanted to do this supernatural LP because it is, you know, getting fall time. I think it'd be like perfect, fun little fun little thing to do on the channel here so yeah definitely definitely agree with that after seeing the zombie which i i didn't know that zombies were, would walk around like i knew that they were zombies but i thought there was like a certain way you become one and like a, a spell or certain i don't know a certain tactic to become one i didn't know that they would just freaking walk around in graveyards which was really cool to see so i think that our full moon was successful um he was able to transform into a state, um, his feral state. So now he is sleeping. Um, he has a lot of sleep to catch up on. How are these two doing? He is going to be hugged by her. They've just been spending, you know, the day together, just being lazy. Uh, is Bone Hilda out? I don't think she is. I think it's time that we have awaken her so she can come and help us clean up. I don't know why. Why does it look blue? Is it because of the moon? I think it's because of the full moon. It's making it look a little bluish. What just happened? Yeah, it must be because of the moon. Now it's like daytime. All right, what is going on with you? Can you not go to sleep? Listen to complaint? Wait, girl, you gonna complain to us? We just, we just tried to save our lives from a zombie. Come up here and go to sleep. Our Des is coming in here to hold hands with her man. I really like them. I think they're really cute. Like, honestly, I'm ready for a baby. I'm just, I want it to be a fairy baby. If it's going to be a vampire baby, I won't be mad, but I'll be a little bit disappointed. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> so, I think it's time they woohoo. Why not? Let's go ahead and take the next step in our relationship and woohoo. You know, before we start trying for babies, maybe we should just, you know, woohoo and see what it's like when fairies and vampires woohoo. Probably nothing different, but, you know, it's just about the experience, right? <laughs> All right, they're getting it on. Cute. I love them. I think they're going to be our OTP, our one tree pair. They're going to have a bunch of little fairy and zombie, not zombie, oh god, not zombie, no, vampire babies running around while these two, I'm a little confused. Uh, she did have the want to kiss him, but I think it's just because... I mean, he's, he was looking like this with, with the teeth. You know, he could poke her lip. I don't, you know, I mean, really? Nah, Rowan. I thought it would be romantic, you know. <laughs> but then I remembered he's going to change. But yeah, anyways, y'all, I'm going to let these two sleep. They had a crazy night. These two down here had a 
I just had a good morning, if you know what I mean. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I think it was a very successful night. I wasn't expecting to experience a full moon, but I'm getting all the experience of Supernatural. We got to see the werewolf transformation. We got to see um, Sybil cast some spells, and we got to see a zombie, which was probably the highlight of this part. But y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. Like I said, if you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comments and suggestions down down below. Subscribe if you have not and I will talk to y'all later.